Hi, my name is Ty here. I'm a creative director, strategic planner. And from a very young age, I was groomed to be um, an engineer. And um, went to Brooklyn Tech High School, went to Morehouse College for um, undergrad. Um, I was in a dual degree engineering program with Georgia Tech, but I found art and quickly jumped ship. Um, also from a young age, um, I love hip hop. I've loved hip hop. And a lot of songs from the 80s that I grew up with, I used to record, transcribe the lyrics, um, and look up words sometimes when I thought there you know, were some strange words. But the, the rap from then was more dense. And there's a pattern that I saw with more modern rap and you know, commercial rap that some artists themselves have found also and that the lyrics are kind of dumbed down. So I figured you know, that it might be the case that modern hip hop is making me stupider. So I figured out a way um, to prove it, or at least start to prove it, build a tool and a scientific method to prove it. Um, so right now, it's, um, the, lyric is, the lyrics are the set of data, and then we have metadata on top of that. So we have artist name, song title. Um, interesting, we have geolocation and release date. We also have um, the education level and the reading level that you need to understand how to read the, the lyrics. And these images on the, on the right are some, um, some features and some songs that um, started out the process. But it became really popular, and people started re requesting um, albums, so I decided to make um, a tool. And right now, we have about 40,000 songs, about 22, 2,500 artists, and about 5,000 albums. And it spans all of hip hop. The, the plan is to be exhaustive. Right now, it's, um, it's a set of 40,000. So we have content, we have location and space on Earth, and we have time. So it gives a different um, context for hip hop. And this is what the search page looks like. I did a search for Ignite, and you can see there are 219 songs that have that word in it. Um, on, the, um, on the website, you can click onto these tabs, and then it highlights the words that you search for. Um, and this is what the information looks like in Google Earth. So again, it's a different way to contextualize the um, corpus of hip hop and, um, and you can see where the artists are coming from and what topics the artists talk about come from. This is a text correlation tool um, that um, is a data visualization of a battle between the rapper Nas and Jay-Z. The, the words in the middle are words that they both share to diss each other. These are, these are parallel coordinate um, images. This is Jay-Z's entire career. This is 50 Cent's entire career. Each line is a different song. Each line is a different song, and each um, grouping is an album, so you have many songs coming from albums. Some of the research that we're doing, um, since it's in a data form, we're, we're mashing it up against government data. So this is civilian unemployment rate um, and money, slang money references found in hip hop. And this is a champagne chart. So in 82, New York had the first mention of champagne. Um, I did a search for champagne, Moet, um, um, Cristal, Dom Perignon, all of that. And then 84, we see LA pops up, bow, right? This is early, early, early hip hop. And, um, and as we go forward, we see the rest of the country kind of, you know, of course we see clusters in the, in the, in the urban area, Chicago, um, North California, South California, Miami, but then the Midwest gets filled in also. So, you know, Champagne, talking about, um, you know, um, affluence. So I have a Kickstarter campaign. I have about three days left on it. I've reached my goal, but more money helps. And all additional funds will be, you know, I'm paying the programs. It's all going to the programs, but more money will help them work faster. Um, Clay Shirky has, has backed the project. Grant McCracken, Anil Dash, Fab Five Freddy, um, Heinrich from Jumby. So you'll be in really good company if you, you know, decide to at least spread the word. I'm looking for programmers, data viz artists, sociologists, or anyone that's, you know, willing to, um, to tinker with this data set. 
So contact me.